starts now. Our twisted winter continues here in Metro Detroit. Tornado touchdowns tonight in several areas. A Fox 2 viewer recorded this video of one of the powerful twisters. The Sky Fox with a look at some of the major damage caused by that tornado. This is the village of Dexter in Washtenaw County, the hardest hit area tonight. As you saw, homes and businesses are destroyed. Fox 2's Ron Savage traveled to Dexter and he joins us now live on the phone uh, with more on the extensive damage there. Ron, is everybody okay? Okay. You know, that's the amazing thing. Right now, right now initially, just hours after this tornado, uh, there's been no serious injuries, no fatalities reported. I must tell you, though, the technical rescue team, which is uh, firefighters with special training, they're going door to door now in these uh, two of the hardest hit neighborhoods uh, looking for anyone who may be trapped. Uh, good news, uh, though, for everybody that was home. And uh, the, maybe the blessing was a lot of people weren't home. And, uh, and maybe that perhaps saves some lives. But the, the two areas hit hardest uh, here on farms. If you're familiar with Dexter, that's uh, just outside downtown Dexter. An entire block was hit along York Street and Noble Street. We're editing video right now. We're waiting for lightning to clear. Uh, you need to see this video. And I know you're looking at some from Sky Fox now as well. And then west of Hudson Mills, about four and a half miles from the uh, here on Farms neighborhood, uh, that neighborhood was hit. We're talking uh, homes destroyed in both of those neighborhoods. Significant, significant damage. This will easily go into the millions of dollars in damage. But the good news, uh, no loss of life. Ron, that is absolutely excellent news and, and kind of hard to believe when you look at these pictures. I mean, entire neighborhoods absolutely destroyed. Where are people tonight that have been impacted uh, in this tornado zone? Where are they tonight? Well, a lot of them are stuck in traffic. Uh, there's just a tremendous traffic jam. It's almost like they played a Super Bowl out here. You have people who are trying to get home. I just talked to a man who hasn't made it home yet. He knows his, his home has been damaged. He knows everybody's in okay. case. But uh, so there's a tremendous traffic grid. You're only talking two-lane roads around Dexter, um, other than I-94, which uh, is, is not right near here. Um, but uh, hey, to be specific, to answer your question, there is a hotel that is stepping up to help some people with displaced homes. And I'm seeing the Red Cross out here. I've um, been out at the command post uh, just recently, which is at Dexter High School. It's at Shield and Parker. Residents who have issues, residents who want it, uh, information can, can come here. A lot of phones aren't working. Power lines are down. There's not uh, electricity all over. There are outages, but there are areas with electricity. But you can get information at Dexter Fire downtown, Dexter Fire Department. You can also, if you can see a firefighter or a deputy or an officer in your neighborhood, you can talk to them and they should have a radio. Um, but there is a, a hotel that's stepping up, Monica and Hewell, and uh, they are offering uh, some housing for tonight. Ron, have you been able to talk to anybody on the ground there about what that tornado was like as it came through? It's chilling, just chilling, and it's consistent with tornadoes that we've covered, and um, and I have seen one, and you don't want to see one, but they saw it, and there was no mistaking it, Huel. I heard, and I didn't see it, uh, but I heard that you have a video from a viewer. We have some, too, on a cell phone um, of a gentleman that will be showing it, and we'll be feeding this shortly. The large, uh, classic, funnel black cloud, screaming like a train, if you've uh, heard it described or if you've seen one, it was classic. It was in the air, and then it came down. And when it came down, it was bent nails, kindling wood, houses, chimneys. I saw a bathtub um, displaced. I mean, I didn't see the actual twister, but I'm looking at the debris. Um, a car, cars moved. So it was a classic a tornado. You know, I'm not going to estimate uh, the speed. I will, you know, Rich or somebody can get into that down the road. I will tell you this that um, I talked to Dave Egler with the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Department. He's telling me that they're convinced there were two twisters out here. Uh, the one that hit uh, just west of Hudson Mills, and then they're convinced it was a separate twister that hit the Huron Farms neighborhood. I, I, you know, we haven't talked to the Weather Service yet. I know they'll come out, but certainly a lot of destruction uh, with one good twister that was witnessed by a lot of people. And there could very well have been two. I'm, I'm not going to argue with that. Well, nobody dead, but what's even more incredible, we're also not hearing any reports of, of serious injuries out here. That's just amazing. I've seen uh, a teenager, she was 14, with a cut on her leg. She had a bandage on it from the storm. I saw a guy with a cut knuckle. 
That's all I've seen. And I, we've talked to a lot of people. They're, they're, they're destroyed. They're uh, emotionally destroyed. They're in tears, as you can imagine. Their, uh, their houses are, are gone. I saw a man uh, assessing damage from his second story with no wall. It was dangerous for him to be up there. Um, the keys right now, and I've covered these things as a firefighter and as a reporter, but the keys right now, the big things are down power lines, and it's dark now, of course, but that's a feature of the tornado. Broken natural gas lines, they can be all over, and they are. Damaged structures, we saw a family uh, go back into their home with half their roof missing, and while they were inside, another portion of the roof collapsed, so these homes are not safe to be inside. And then, of course, the search for victims. They're looking right now. But is anyone unaccounted for? That's very important. And who lives alone? If you have a family member in this area, you'll want to make contact. And it'll be difficult because I had trouble getting out uh, to Fox 2 earlier. I know you're around the air at 6 o'clock. I couldn't get out on my phone. I think there's a tremendous amount of phone usage. But um, there are a lot of uh, busy people right now and a lot of sad uh, folks with, with what's happened to their homes and their lives. But uh, the good news and amazing that it looks like no serious injuries or fatalities. Yeah, we're so grateful for that. And our hearts go out to all of those folks uh, impacted by this. Ron, what's the best advice for someone who is trying to reach a loved one or wants to make sure that the authorities know that they're accounted for? Who should they call? Yeah, you'll, you'll have trouble uh, getting through to uh, the authorities. But your best bets are with the fire and with the sheriff's department. Um, and but, the, but you can imagine how many people are calling. So if you can physically get to um, the Dexter Fire Department, they're, they're pretty close on scene here. And uh, of course, fire and police have radios on scene. I will tell you that um, we moved out of that neighborhood here on farms um, two hours ago because there's a mandatory uh, evacuation of anybody that doesn't have an address, a, a, a license there. If you, if you don't, if you don't live there, you're not going to be there. They're concerned. Uh, obviously, they need room to work, and they don't want any problems. So, um, if you don't, if you say, "Well, I've, I've, I know someone that lives there," that's probably not good enough. You probably need an address. But if you want to check on somebody, I would check with Dexter Fire, and uh, and go from there. You can also come out. It's easier to get here to the high school, Dexter High School. Um, as we said, is at uh, Shield Road and Parker Road, and there's a tremendous amount of resources out here from from Red Cross. Salvation Army, all the agencies, every fire department under the sun is out here. I saw my uh, brothers from Bright Fire, guys I work with, they're out here. Um, there's a lot of help. They don't really need help. Uh, they probably need a few prayers, but that's mm -hmm. where people can go if they need some answers. All right, good to know. And Ron, we'll be checking back with you uh, later this hour. Thanks for that. I want to show report. you that video. You've got to see. Uh, and then I know you saw it from the sky, but we'll, we'll show it to you from the ground. Too. All right, we'll look forward to that. All right, thank we'll you, Ron. Of course, that was an incredibly frightening night, and we have to ask Rich, you did an outstanding job. You and Alan were fantastic. You kept us all safe. Are we out of the woods tonight? Uh, the good news is the storms are winding down quickly. There are still a few leftover thunder showers right near the Michigan Ohio border, but we are not going to see a repeat of anything we saw earlier today. In fact, let's get to it. Let's show you what's happening right now. And yes, there are still some thunder showers up along oh the Port Huron area down to Marysville. Also there, the Michigan Ohio border region, some thunder showers, and some of these are still dropping some big wind and some hail and some uh, some heavy downpours, but still all of the action that occurred oh a few hours ago is really winding down. Let's check the actual warnings in effect. Severe thunderstorm warnings for a small part of Lenaway and Monroe counties. That's going to expire at 1015. So with this possibility, again, you want to keep your eye to the sky and obviously uh, stay inside as the storms right near the Michigan Ohio border do pass. Here's the official watch. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect for one more hour. So this will expire at 11 o'clock. So we can't rule out one last flare up, but it really does look like the worst is well behind us. One last flood warning. We did have some rainfall uh, totals above three inches in some of those torrential downpours. So area creeks, rivers and streams, especially through Monroe County, uh, will be running high for the next few hours. So keep that in mind if you're going to be heading about. Here's the uh, widespread view of all the damage that was reported today, not just in Michigan, but down across the Tennessee Valley, along the Ohio Valley as well. If we close in, you're going to see those three confirmed tornado reports. One was up in Lapeer County near Columbiaville. The second, the uh, strongest of the tornadoes right now, uh, looks like it was down around Dexter. And finally, that last 
tornado there close to Ida in Monroe County. Here's a timeline 540 close to Dexter with that touchdown. Now there's been no classification of these tornadoes that'll be determined by the National Weather Service likely tomorrow into Saturday, but don't be surprised if these are classified, especially the one in Dexter up in the F2 F3 uh, category with some of the damage we've seen. And there's the other ones, Ida and then notice up there north of Flint. Now, I want to show you a different source, and this shows a very good view of that tornado when it was right over Dexter. It's a good look. And uh, in fact, I'm going to step off camera and I'm going to click a different source. Z, if you would go ahead and press that button for me. There it is. This is at 545 and we talked about the velocity scope and we talk about the winds going in and the winds coming out. We always look for where the reds and greens are coming together. Here's Dexter. This is Dexter in Washington County. Notice how the greens are spiraling this way and the grids are spiraling this way. And there it is right over Dexter is that classic textbook signature of a tornado. And indeed we have all the ground truth with the video we're seeing. I'm going to step back over and change my source. The good news is all the weather is really, really winding down. Let's check the current readings at Metro Airport. Still some thunder around uh, Romulus, but the rain has ended 61 degrees. It's been a very warm, muggy day. That's what fueled some of those thunderstorms. We also had a, a bit of mid-level jet energy come through and really get the atmosphere going late today. 61 degrees in Howell right now, just a bit cooler there, well off to our west, 63 in Jackson, 62 to our north in Flint. It's going to stay mild. There's no cold surge of air, uh, so the good thing is for cleanup efforts tomorrow into the weekend and beyond, it's going to stay rather mild. Remember, if you check the calendar, it's still officially winter, so to see tornadoes this early in the season is unusual, but yet the mild weather continues. That in and of itself is unusual, but here's that flare-up of shower and storms right over southeast Michigan oh, between 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock this evening. There were other storms to our south for Missouri, for Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, but we had the worst of it today. Some of the video that we've seen today is something you would typically think about Kansas or Missouri or Texas, Tornado Alley. And uh, today it was our turn to get into the action. Mild weather continues, that's for sure. We're not going to see any more repeats of the uh, tornadoes or severe storms for tomorrow or Saturday. This boundary will slowly shift to the south, taking with it most of the energy. So the good news is we will have some fog to deal with overnight. Thunderstorms will be ending quickly down to 54. Here's your Friday forecast. Fog early in the morning, a mild day again. It's going to be a dry day on Friday with daytime highs back up close to 70 degrees. And then if you look down the road, another chance for some uh, thunder showers on Sunday. We are not expecting severe weather, but check out those temperatures. Uh, again, unusually warm into March, and that's one of the reasons we had this early outbreak of tornadoes is because it's been so warm. We had the humidity increase today, and all of the ingredients were there in a brief window to get the atmosphere spinning, and that's what happened. Mm. Very dramatic. It is, and yeah. we're going to be checking the weather through the mm -hmm. course of the next hour or so, and we'll be playing, paying close attention to what's on radar now and looking back again to around 5.30. All right, we'll check back we'll with you. We'll be here. Thanks. By the way, Jim Darris from Plymouth took some incredible video of a funnel cloud near Hudson Mills Metro Park. Yeah, we talked to him earlier tonight. He's got quite a story to tell. Let's listen in. The initial video, uh, we were about 300 yards. It actually dropped down and formed right in the woods, uh, actually where we were playing disc golf earlier. Well, and were you using uh, your cell phone camera? Or, or? Yes, cell phone camera. That's incredible. Were you uh, afraid at any point? Um, at first, it was just kind of awe-inspiring. It was, you know, amazing to see, but, you know, the beast started getting pretty big pretty quick, and so, yeah, yeah, fear did set in. And, and how far away were you, Jim, again, when you shot this video? Uh, 300 yards when it first dropped, and then as we were, there's another video where we're trying to get away because it was literally following us in the car, and, you know, maybe about a half mile at that point. Now, we're looking at what looks like a debris. Do you know what this funnel cloud was hitting when it touched the ground? It was literally in the woods, so I'm assuming you know, trees, leaves, that kind of thing. Did you hear something? No, I, you know, you, they usually say it's like a freight train, but there was so much thunder going on that I really couldn't hear, you know, it from the thunder. Absolutely incredible well, it's video. remarkable video. Uh, it's, it, as you said, it, it's kind of awe-inspiring, the power of it all. Uh, we're glad you're okay. Thank you. And, and we, we, we hope you, you didn't uh, in any way endanger your life. Oh, you see, there are a lot, oh, I see a lot of people are out there at the time. I'm looking at some uh, other aspects of your video. There were, so there were several people uh, who witnessed this Looks like this people were out on the patio watching this. Yeah, at, at, uh, as we tried to leave initially, we were blocked by the actual funnel. 
so we couldn't go out the main exit, and so we grabbed a couple of people that were walking, uh, threw in the back of our car, and then you know we went to like the main parking lot. That way we could you know see at least where it was coming from. Now, could you pinpoint the area uh, for us, please? Uh, it literally dropped down 300 yards um, south of the um, Hudson Mills uh, recreational area right in their main parking lot. Well, in the woods. We have seen uh, from Sky Fox uh, heavy damage uh, to some homes in the area. Uh, have you had a chance to check on your property? Everybody okay? Everybody safe? Uh, how is your house? Uh, our house is okay. Everything's okay. I haven't checked the car. There's quite a bit of hail, so there may be some dents there in the morning. Well, again, Jim, we, we thank you for this video, and we're glad that, that, that you and your friends are okay and that you and your family are okay tonight. Uh, but just an incredible video that uh, you took with your cell phone camera. Thanks, thank you very Jim. much. I hope everyone's safe in this. Yes, we all we're do. all praying we're, for the same thing, Jim. We're praying for the same thing. Thanks, Jim. You're welcome. And our prayers were answered tonight. Despite the storms, despite those tornadoes and heavy damage, no reports of any fatalities. In fact, no reports of any serious injuries so far. That's really remarkable. Parts of Monroe County also hit hard by the tornadoes. Fox 2's Charlie Langton visited Luna Pier tonight where people there saw a tornado. And Charlie's joining us now uh, live on the phone. Charlie, how's everybody doing in Luna Pier tonight? Well, I'll tell you, they're probably doing okay right now, but earlier, Monica, Luna Pier, which is a, a city about six miles north of the Ohio border, it's a population of about 1,500 people, and coincidentally, they had a town hall meeting that night uh, conducted by the mayor, Mary Liskey. All of a sudden, during the meeting, they looked out the window and they said, oh my gosh, look at this tornado, and they all went outside. It was raining, it was um, a heavy downpour, and they saw this uh, long, skinny, what looked like a funnel cloud. So they, they were panicked, they didn't know what to do. So luckily there was a fire department not too far from the meeting place. They went, and they, they 20 to 30 people or so, went to the local firehouse uh, where they all gathered and uh, they started watching this particular uh, tornado. Now, there was a lot of lightning, there was a lot of rain, but luckily there was really no damage and no major flooding. Although we saw a little bit of flooding as we were driving in toward Luna Pier. Uh, but it was quite a sight. I also talked to Steve Bollinger. He was coming home from uh, working at the Fermi 2 plant, which is not too far from here. He stopped on the side of the road and took out his cell phone camera and shot a pretty good video of, uh, of this particular uh, tornado. Um, he was mesmerized by it. He said he'd never really seen anything like this before. And then he said, I better get off the road and go home because it looked like that tornado was going to his house, which is in Lambertville, not too far from uh, from Luna Pier. So all in all, it was quite an evening for the people here in Luna Pier in Monroe County. But again, luckily, no damage at all uh, tonight here in Luna Pier. All right. That's very, very good news. Thanks, Charlie. We'll check back with you later. Thanks, Monica. Thanks. Absolutely amazing, the show in the sky. Of course, stay with Fox 2 for continuing coverage of the tornado outbreak. On the air and online at myfoxdetroit.com. We'll be right back with more coverage. What is the proper procedure in a homicide investigation when evidence is transferred? Free college tuition for every student in Michigan? How would that work? Don't we have to do something in terms of getting a consent agreement done? And I wasn't seeing a lot of action. It's not the government. It's not the police. It's not the schools. It's us as a community. Fox 2 Weather Authority brought to you by Xfinity. Call 1-800-XFINITY today for a great offer. The results won't come back for at least a bit. I hope they catch that guy. That guy? No, not until later in the season. Wait, what? what? Are you catching up without me? No. Yes. Xfinity has all the latest episodes online. Anything else you want to spoil? Your surprise party's tomorrow. See what you've been missing with satellite. Switch to Xfinity TV from Comcast for $29.99 a month for six months and get Showtime free for three months. Plus, there's no term contract. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Good. You've lost some weight. Thanks. You noticed. These clothes are too big, so I'm donating them. How'd you do it? Eating right? Whole grain. People weigh less than those who don't. Multigrain Cheerios. Five whole grains, 110 calories. Now get this. Creamy, dreamy peanut butter taste and a tempting new cereal. Mm. New Multigrain Cheerios Peanut Butter. 
because I work at Gardner White, I can get this very cool table in six chairs for just $275. And right now, so can you. Now, take our employee discount right off the sale price. My price on this classic sofa, just $437. You can save 80%. There's no money down. No interest for four years. And we pay your sales tax. You get my price on this microfiber sectional, $584. Don't overpay. Cash in on the best deals. Up to 80% off with employee discount pricing. Now, only at Gardner White. How you react to success says more than the success itself. When you're named the most technologically advanced in your class or the most luxurious, what should you do? Do you sit back and rest on your success? Or do you build on it? The Chrysler Showcase event. Well-qualified returning employee lessees get a low-mileage lease on town and country touring for $1.99 a month. Monroe County, the town of Ida took a hit. Now, normally we would have a live shot from Fox News, Andrea Isom, but we understand that there's still lightning in the area, and so she joins us now live on the phone with more on the damage there. Andrea, how is everybody down there? Well, the good news is everybody is doing just fine. It was just really crazy out here. You know, we talked to the assistant fire chief who said that he was at home when he saw this really weird formation in the clouds, and then he saw the spout. He's like, okay, this, this is serious. Calls all his crews, they fan out throughout the township. And there, you know, there's a lot of fields there, so a lot of the fields took the brunt of it, but there was one house. And I'm, I think you're looking at pictures of the house, hopefully. You're looking at pictures, are these the funnel clouds? Or, um, We're looking at the funnel cloud right now, yeah. Funnel, funnel clouds right now. In one of those pictures there is, you see a cloud and you kind of see like a puff of smoke. And the assistant chief describes that as the debris in the air. They saw it and they knew it hit something. They got there and it was just a mess. There was a car flipped over, the house was destroyed. But inside that house, which is most important, were three people, two elderly women, an elderly man, and a dog. The good news is, you know, they hunkered down in the basement. They called for uh, rescue crews. They got there really, really quick and were able to get everybody out and safe. So that's the good news here. You know, it's so crazy, as we've seen so many times, when the tornado, tornado hit, it's, it's huge. Everyone says it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, just like on TV. But it had a target, and it was that house, and that was it. A couple of power lines and one house here in Ida. So everybody's pretty lucky. It could have been a lot worse. Did anybody mention the, the sound, the noise uh, from that tornado? Yeah, they said it, it was just whipping and whipping. And everybody, one guy who had some home video that we hopefully, hopefully can share with you uh, in a little bit said that he was outside. A neighbor came screaming and screaming. He heard, like, wind whipping and whipping. And he comes outside with his camera, and he said he saw the green sky. Then it's like a weird sound, all this sirens going. And he's like, this is it. This is it. And presses record, and that video, I'm telling you, is something else. It is just really crazy. It's really scary. And I mean, the good thing is, you know, nobody was hurt because when you see the pictures and like you guys are seeing now, and, and you're going to see that video, it, you know, it's incredible. And it's a miracle. It is indeed. And it could have been so much worse. Andre, we're going to check back with you and hopefully get a live report from you later on here on Fox 2 News as soon as that lightning clears up. Thank you. All right. You bet. When the heavy storm system started to unleash its fury, some dramatic images started pouring into the Fox 2 newsroom. Fox News' Alexis Wiley is with us now with some of the photos and videos from our viewers. Alexis. Hill, tonight our viewers have been sending us amazing images and lots of information about the storm and its aftermath. They've been posting snapshots and videos on our website and Facebook page. Take a look at this video from Ann Arbor. You can see the hail coming down and piling up on this deck. Another viewer actually captured the tornado in action. Now, we're sharing this one. This one is in the Dexter area near Hudson Mills Metro Park. Again, one of the hardest hit areas. Tonight, hundreds of photos are still coming into myfoxdetroit.com. Here, you're looking at a picture of a funnel cloud in Dexter sent to us by a Fox 2 viewer. Another image from Dexter. You can see debris from homes scattered for yards. From our Facebook page, this photo from Nancy James shows a funnel cloud in Hamburg Township. Another very ominous image posted on our Facebook page, Alex Ekman sending us this snapshot of a funnel cloud. Hugh and Monica is just a sample of what people have been sharing with us tonight from the powerful storm, and we're asking viewers to keep posting photos and videos to our Facebook page and myfoxdetroit.com. Hugh and Monica.
All right, Alexis, thank you. And that's one thing that you can see from those photos. Possibly several different angles of the same, same tornado, tornado, but mm -hmm. possibly two or three tornadoes. Yeah. Only, only uh, Rich will be able to tell us if that's uh, true. And right now, we're still waiting for confirmation from the National Weather Service on just how many tornadoes and the magnitude of those tornadoes. So and again, that so lucky. Come tomorrow. No fatalities yeah. so far. Grateful for that. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. Stay with us. Sharpshooters, I have put you to the test. Now, with only two episodes left. We're chasing a 63, and we don't know who he is. That's a first. Who holds the key? I want him alive. To unlocking the mystery of Alcatraz. Stop! Monday at 9 on Fox 2. In a city where the news never stops. Neither do we. Fox 2 News. Working for you. What is it about a blue sky? A sunset? This smile. What do these moments all hold in common? There is no fear, no worry. It's a feeling unlike any other. For a moment, we're all okay. And then just like that, it's gone. But we can find our way back together. Welcome to peace. Welcome to HAP. with the 2012 Silverado from your Metro Detroit Chevy dealers. Silverado is the perfect pickup with available 403 horsepower and unsurpassed V8 fuel economy. Chevy Silverado, the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size pickup on the road. It's Chevy Truck Month. Get a 2012 Silverado with 0% APR financing for 72 months or up to $6,000 cash back. Put it in D and see why Chevy drives the Motor City. Visit ChevyDetroit.com. Spring into a new vehicle during the Ford Matching Down Sales Event. We will match your down payment up to $500 on a Ford Taurus. Everyone gets up to $500 matching money when you buy or lease. Bring us $500 and we'll match it. Now, current AZ Plan customers can lease a well-equipped Taurus for only $199 a month. Only $199 with $2507 to its signing. The 500 Matching Down Payment Program and soon. Lease a Taurus today for only $199 a month at your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. I got a great poster concept for Hungry Howie's. Let me sketch it. All right. I'm thinking something epic, bold, Romanesque. The eight yeah. flavored crust uh, would be our hero, of course. Okay. And then we add in some explosions. It'll be like a metaphor for the flavor on your taste buds. What do you got? Pizza good. I can't draw. Let me paint you a tastier picture. Eight flavored crusts with meal deals for any side and budget. Now that's an idea. Hungry Howie's. A lot of people are watching our tornado coverage, and they want to help with us on the phone right now is Nancy Malone from Hands of Light in Action. Nancy, good evening. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We understand that the wheels are already in motion for your organization to lend a helping hand to these areas damaged by the tornadoes. Yes, yes. Um, Saturday at 9 o'clock, we're going to meet at a house that um, in that subdivision that several houses um, were demolished. Um, Somebody's already contacted me and offered their house as a base. Um, we're going to be um, starting cleanup for the disaster, and um, we're um, people that want to volunteer can volunteer at Hands of Light in Action at gmail.com and let me know. Well, Hands of Light in Action responded to Hurricane Katrina, uh, Cedar Rapids flooding, 9 11. What do people need most in a situation like this? They need comfort <laughs> and calm, and they have a place to stay because the Dexter High School opened that up. Um, as, as time goes on, they need diapers, formula, water, personal hygiene products, um, clothing. But at Katrina, tons of people had clothing, so you don't just pile in your clothing and dump them off at Dexter. Uh, then you can become um, get gift cards for Target so that they can buy personal supplies, cleaning supplies, Myers, Kroger's, um, Lowe's, Home Depot, just just small amounts so that you can give them to several um, homes. Mm -hmm. 
And what do you recommend is the best way for people to reach out and help your organization and help all of the other uh, organizations that will be headed to the disaster areas? What's the best course of action for someone sitting at home tonight watching this, wanting to reach out? If they want to volunteer, they sign up for an organization. Just don't show up. Um, there's, I'll, I'll, can I read something from Katrina that I read that, that there was, um, when we were cleaning up, there was this big old sign in front of a house that was totally demolished. And it's something that hits me every time I do a disaster. It says, please have heart. Whoever is removing this debris, this is our life entangled in this mess. I would like to be here as it is removed so I may salvage anything that means something to me. Please call me and give me that opportunity. That kind of says it all. Mm -hmm. That's something to think about, Nancy, as we're seeing video now of a small bulldozer in the area of Dexter that was heavily damaged. You have to be careful with the debris from these houses because there are memories inside. Yes, it's their lives. So you don't just take that lightly. Well, we know that you and members of your group are going to uh, be headed out there on Saturday to help these nine folks. Nine o'clock. And uh, we'll continue to follow your progress and you can report back to us as you uh, help with the huge task of helping the folks here in Dexter and other areas hard hit with the cleanup. Many, many weeks and months to come of that. Thanks, Nancy Malone. We appreciate it. Take care. Thank you very much. As we've been showing you tonight, Fox 2 viewers are extra sets of eyes and ears when it comes to breaking weather news. This video was shot in Roseville today as hail blanketed the area. You can always share your photos and video on MyFoxDetroit.com or Facebook. More tornado coverage when we return. The storm hit hard here. We're on Noble Street in Dexter, Washtenaw County, not far from Ann Arbor. People that were home when this storm hit said you could tell by the sound there was no mistake what was coming. We just saw this big black cloud and I thought, I can't see anything. Let's go in the basement. And we just heard glass blowing up. Thank God everybody's okay. And so far it sounds like everybody on the street's okay. In our city, the news never stops. And at a time when there's no time to waste, we never stop working to keep you informed, inspired, connected. Start your mornings with Fox 2. Next TMZ, Jennifer Hudson's kid has a little critique for a TMZ camera guy. <laughs> Three-year-old kid? Even kids have taste. Tonight at 11.30 on Fox 2. Paying with your smartphone instead of cash. That's a step forward. With Chase Quick Pay, you can send money directly to anyone's checking account. I guess he's a kicker. Again, again! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Take a step forward and chase what matters. You've made up your mind. You deserve a better night's sleep. Come to Gardner White, your specialty mattress headquarters. For eye comfort by Serta or Tempur-Pedic luxury, you get the best deal in town at Gardner White. Now get eye comfort for $38 a month with three years interest free, next day delivery free, and an HD TV free. Get the best deal. Eye comfort on sale for $12.99 or just $38 a month. Don't overpay. Nobody beats our specialty mattress prices. Save now at Gardner White. What's for dinner tonight? At Subway Restaurants, get any two or more regular foot-long subs for only $5 each. Every day after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. That's any two or more regular foot-long subs for just $5 each. Subway. Eat fresh. There are places you already shop, dine, entertain. Now, it'll cost you less. Introducing MyFoxHalfOff.com. Simple concept. Always pay half or less. Sign up at MyFoxDetroit.com. Tell us about the Accord. Car and drivers, 10 best. How many times? A record 26 times. Interesting. What about safety? Overall five-star safety rating. Interesting. It's perfect. So, Brian, what kind of deal are we looking at here? We have some really good offers going on right now. Really? Really. Okay, we'll take it. Get a great deal on an Accord during the really big sales event. Real deals, big inventory. Now, at your Honda dealer.
A wild, wild day in the weather department. Several tornadoes touched down across southeast Michigan. Homes destroyed. But the most amazing story in all of this, no serious injuries reported. Dexter seemed to take the brunt of the tornado damage today. But Twisters also touched down in parts of Monroe County as well. And Rich, a very unusual day. It is. It's, it's so early in the season. I mean, typically our severe weather months are May, June, and July. So the fact is, if you check your calendar, it's still winter and we're having you know, these kinds of storms. We had some last week in Alabama and in Kentucky. So perhaps it's going to be an active season. I want to show you a graphic that the National Weather Service came up with. It's some of these notable early season tornadoes. You have to go back to February 28th of 1974 to find the earliest tornado. That was in Wayne County. Then earlier this week, we had one up in Midland County, Lenawee County, uh, 76. And then today, of course, we had three. So today is setting a new benchmark for uh, how early in the season tornadoes can be around here and hopefully we don't have any repeats coming and the forecast is quiet. Let me show you again the three confirmed tornadoes we have and this number could go higher. Uh, the National Weather Service uh, experts will be out tomorrow and I'm sure through the weekend going over all the tracks and perhaps this number may rise. Uh, but here's what we know now uh, in Lapeer County and then also in Washtenaw and Monroe counties tornadoes today the one around Dexter, the most serious. The radar right now is all quiet. There are still some lingering thunder showers right at the Michigan Ohio border. A couple of uh, showers have popped up here close to eight mile in Oakland and Wayne counties. And then notice one heavy thunder shower did cross port here on a couple of hours ago. That is now on the Canadian side of the border. So all of this weather is winding down quickly. Here's officially the watch that we're under until 11 o'clock. So if you're thunderstorm watch until 11 o'clock, this may be canceled a bit early. Let's check out the flood warning that's in effect. In addition to the tornadoes and hail, large hail today in many spots, we have gusty winds and some very heavy downpours. Flood uh, warnings continue for Monroe County for a few more hours. Right now it's quiet, still uh, 61 degrees at the airport with partly cloudy skies. 61 here, 62 in Flint, 63 down in Toledo. You'll see a light breeze out of the south, and this is going to do a couple of things. It's going to keep us mild, number one. And number two, it's going to lead to some fog, especially where you had some heavy rain. You will likely see some fog developing overnight. 66 St. Louis, look at all these mild numbers. 61 here, 65 to our south, Wilmington, North Carolina. But notice we were not alone today with the active weather clusters of thunder showers in Michigan, Missouri, Illinois, down across Kentucky, Tennessee, additional thunder showers there. They're all starting to weaken, and that is typically the case once you get to the late evening hours. It certainly stays mild. There's no cooler weather coming our way. No snow is in our forecast. In fact, we're going to see daytime highs near 70 degrees right through the weekend and beyond. Come Sunday, we'll have another chance for some thunder showers, but we're not expecting a repeat of what we had today. Let's check the forecast. Any lingering thunder showers will quickly be ending. Watch out for some of that dense fog overnight down to 54. Here is your Friday forecast. Some fog to start the day in some spots, then mild back up close to 70 degrees. And then Saturday is looking like a winter around here. A lot of people will be you know, doing necessary cleanup uh, Friday, Saturday, and well into next week. But there's Sunday's scattered thunder showers and a high of 70 degrees. You know, today, uh, put a few things in perspective. We do get occasional tornadoes in Michigan. You know, going back into the books, we've had tornadoes in West Bloomfield. We've had them in downtown Detroit, uh, Heartland, Fenton. We've had tornadoes, Dundee, uh, Windsor on the Canadian side of the border. So it's not unusual to have tornadoes in Michigan, but it's the earliness of it that really sticks out today. And uh, again, it's a wonderful thing that as of now, no injuries, no fatalities. That's the important thing. So how does the National Weather Service count tornadoes? If you have one tornado that seems to skip as this one seemed to do, does that count as one tornado or does each touchdown count as a separate tornado? Usually the Weather Service experts will look at the track. So they'll look at the straight line-ness of it. And if it's skipping on that straight line, then that's one tornado. But if there's a distance between the skips, then perhaps it's two tornadoes. But they're they're the experts, and uh, we'll be talking to them, of course, over the next few days. Yeah, and they'll be out on the scene first thing tomorrow morning as soon on as the On the ground, in the up, air, yeah, they'll yeah. be figuring out exactly what happened. And uh, a lot of study will be done about these tornadoes for weeks and months to come. All right. Thanks, Rich. Thank you. Well, let's go back now to Fox News' Ron Savage. He's live in Dexter with our first look at the damage from the ground. Ron.
We can't say it enough. What a miracle. No serious injuries, no fatalities, although uh, they're still looking, of course, going door to door, and uh, we're hoping everything turns out all right overnight. It is very dark, as you know, at this time of the evening, so it's a, a very dangerous thing to be in these scenes, but we can show you video that we have from before the sun set. An 87-year-old man was home here with his caregiver when the twister hit. The house demolished, but they both survived without a scratch. Firefighters are confirming a twister slamming into Dexter. The tornado came through the neighborhoods and destroyed multiple homes. Video from York and Noble Streets here, this neighborhood known as Huron Farms. People at home at the time saw the twister tear up the neighborhood. You were home at the time. What'd you hear? What'd um, you see? Well, I was in the basement with my brother, and we thought it was past and then we just saw this big black cloud and I thought I can't see anything let's go in the basement and we just heard glass blowing up um, I was shaking I was holding the dog at this point it's at the um, it's at the golf course and it's coming over the golf course and it's coming over town it already touched down by Dexter Pinckney Road and then it um, and then it flew over town the other area that was significantly damaged, the neighborhood west of Hudson Mills, about four and a half miles away from Huron Farms. Several more homes destroyed. Oh, my house just has a two by four through the roof and the boys were downstairs in the basement and um, so we're fine. Um, Show me your tool, what are you doing here? I'm just shutting off gas uh, at various houses. Um, Using a crescent wrench and trying to get all the gas lines shut down, that's a good thing. A bathtub torn from the floor is thrown out in the yard. This homeowner surveyed the second story damage with no exterior wall. The best news, at least initially, no reports of serious injuries or fatalities. When you pulled up and saw your house, what went through your heart and your mind? I seriously lost feeling in my arms. I was so scared that um, I tried to call them because it was hailing really significantly and no one answered, so then I was really afraid. Thank God everybody's okay. And so far it sounds like everybody on the street's okay, but um, my kids were home and I was coming home from work and, and then when I pulled in and saw this damage, it really, really scared me. A lot of sadness, uh, homes destroyed. I'm understanding now from the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Department, there are 13 homes destroyed that, that they're aware of. The good news, uh, we can't say it enough, no serious injuries and no fatalities. As soon as this storm came through, the first person I heard from was Ed Sines on our Fox 2 assignment desk. He said, get to Dexter as soon as you can. We were headed west on I-94. We ran into some big time hail. You'll take a look at some rain and then you'll see some hail hit the deck. And here it comes, my photographer Kent Colbert and I driving west on I-94. As soon as we crossed out of Wayne County and hit the Washtenaw County line, there it was, the dime-sized, extra-large, rock-hard hail. You could hear it hit the windshield, and no doubt there'll be some scratched vehicles, but uh, people can put up with that because uh, no serious injuries. We welcome, if you want to get the information from the guy that uh, is in charge out here, the director at Washtenaw County. He's not the sheriff, but um, you tell the sheriff what to do from time to time. I get to play uh, the sheriff on TV. Derek Jackson is here. You've been assessing the damage, your men and women already. We mentioned 13 homes destroyed. Tell me what your numbers are showing you now in these neighborhoods that have been hit. Yeah, we've been having officers and medical personnel going through house by house, um, looking for anyone who's seriously injured. Luckily, we haven't had anyone who's seriously injured or um, any deceased. We have well over 100 homes, though, that have been had significant damage, and 13, as you have already mentioned, that are um, pretty much uh, destroyed. We're in a busy area right here. This is uh, ground zero for the command center. This is the high school, Dexter High School. We're out on Shield Road at Parker. There's a call right there. Somebody's getting a call. Um, your men and women will be uh, uh, tonight in these neighborhoods, and you want, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, yeah. but you want us to know you don't want people that have no reason to be in these neighborhoods trying to get, get out and take a look. Definitely. We want to make sure that we can sa safely uh, escort folks from their homes into the shelters if need be. 
Um, and we do have the streets blocked off pretty much. So even if you come down, you're not going to be able to see much. Um, so we, we're asking folks to stay home. Those who do have power in the area, stay at home. Those who may need a place to go, they can go to uh, Mill Creek Middle School. Uh, we have a shelter set up there. Salvation Army and the Red Cross are there directing folks and, and helping folks if they need a hotel or to find additional shelter. Good news to know there. And Monica mentioned earlier that uh, if, if a family member was trying to reach a family member, what, what would your advice be? Uh, to contact the Red Cross and the Salvation Army right now um, uh, if, if you're really trying to locate someone. Luckily for us, um, you know, phone lines were um, having a hard time getting through, but it seems that that's really been able to be cleared up here over the last hour or so. Are you amazed that uh, we're not looking at serious injuries and fatalities? I know it's dark and we'll, we may find out more tomorrow morning, but so far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. I mean, relatively speaking, we have been blessed and, 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 and fairly lucky here not to have anyone deceased. If you've seen the damage and have shown some of the damage, I mean, that's been that's significant. It really is. We may have questions. Monica and Hewell are back at the station. This is Derek Jackson. We're live here out in Dexter, uh, guys. All right, well, that is good news, and we know that uh, crews will be working all night long to make sure that everyone is safe and accounted for, and so uh, hats off to all of those folks, and we'll let them get back to their job. Thanks, Ron. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll be right back. Fox 2's coverage of today's tornado outbreak continues on the air and online at myfoxdetroit.com. This Fox 2 Idle update is brought to you by your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. Think Ford first. Spring into a new vehicle during the Ford Matching Down sales event. We'll match your down payment up to $500 on a Ford Escape. Everyone gets up to $500 matching money when you buy or lease. Bring us $500 and we'll match it. Now current AZ Fund customers can lease a well-equipped Escape. For only $169 a month, only $169 with $19.92 do-it signing. The 500 matching down payment program won't last long. Lease and escape today for only $169 a month at your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. Through March 27th, wall sites two for one sale. Plus five years no interest or an extra 10% off. 1-800-521-7800. Jackpot. Make a millions jackpot. Get your ticket today. People everywhere are dropping everything to get to the Nissan Now sales event. Get great deals now, like 500 bonus cash on popular models. Lease Ultima, just $179. Visit ChooseNissan.com. Test drive at your local Nissan dealer. Bonus cash ends Monday. Do it now. Um, that's actually my I know how these BOGO things work. I have to pick my free pair out of the old glasses grab bag. That's my lunch. At Pearl Vision, your free pair of glasses will always be a pair you'll be proud to wear. Great styles, great value. Just another way we're different. The Art Van Pure Sleep Super Sale. Get 50% off and more all top brand name mattresses with 0% till 2015. This queen size super pillow top is only $2.99. Art Van Pure Sleep. How'd you sleep last night? For some reason, those five food groups sound a whole lot better. When you put them in a taco shell, instead of a pyramid. Old El Paso, and you gotta have Mexican. Progresso. It fits. Fantastic. Progresso. They fit. Okay. Okay. I've been eating Progresso, and now my favorite old jeans fit. Okay. Is there a woman I can talk to? Progresso. 40 soups, 100 calories or less. This week at ABC Warehouse, get up to 20, 30, 40, and even 50% off store wide. Get this 46 inch 1080p HDTV for just $3.99. ABC Warehouse, the closest thing to wholesale. The Fox 2 crews have been covering the storm and its aftermath on the ground and in the air. And our viewers have also been actively using social media to share their images of the wrath of the storm. Alexis Wiley joins us now in the newsroom with more on that. Alexis? Hila Monaco, we received some incredible pictures today. Let's go straight to those pics. This is a photo of flooding in Monroe sent to us by a Facebook user. You can see the front lawn is completely covered in water. There have been flash flooding issues across parts of Metro Detroit with these storms. Now let's go to this 
this picture of lightning stretching across a purple sky shared by a viewer. And take a look at this one, a frightening shot of a twister sent in by Rich. This one in Ida. We've heard of some damage in Ida, but nothing as widespread as in Dexter. Hugh and Monica, I'll continue to monitor the pictures we're getting on our Facebook page and on myfoxdetroit.com. And again, we want more of your pictures. I'll see you guys back here in just a few minutes. All right, Alexis, we'll see you then. Of course, you heard from Dexter, at least 13 houses destroyed, hundreds more homes badly damaged. Tonight, the Red Cross is responding. And we're talking with Allison Koenigbauer from the American Red Cross. Allison, are you there? I am here. Thanks for being with us. We know you're very, very busy tonight. Give us an update on where things stand with uh, rescue efforts and getting people situated for the night. Well, right now, um, we're assessing the damage in the area and trying to get the families um, settled. We do have a shelter open um, at Mill Creek Middle School, and right now um, I'm aware of 10 families uh, who have joined us at the shelter. Uh, we are providing health, mental health, uh, food, water, and basic needs. Um, we have the capacity for almost 200 people there, so we're ready to take people um, You know, as soon as we can. We're set up there, and um, as time goes on, we'll be able to see how much more damage there is. Mm -hmm. Do you need anything from Fox 2 viewers to help you with this effort right now? You know, the best thing to do uh, right now for us is to, um, you know, donate to the American Red Cross. Uh, there are various ways you can do it, 1-800-RED-CROSS or redcross.org. You donate to the Disaster Relief Fund, and that way you can help with disasters like these or other, other disasters um, because, you know, we're always responding and we always need to replenish once we do utilize all of these services. You know, people sitting at home watching this tonight, a lot of people feel kind of helpless. They want to do something. They want to actually physically help out. Do you need that kind of assistance now? Do you need people to show up uh, in, over the next few days in Dexter to help out manually with physical labor? You know, we, we, we always welcome volunteers, and the, the best way that I can say to volunteer with us would be to go to the local Red Cross chapter here, which is our washtenaw Lenaway chapter, and to get information on how to volunteer with us and become a volunteer. Um, you can also go to their website, which is wc-redcross.org, to find out how to do that. We know that uh, people are still in shock tonight, the, the families that have been impacted by this. Tomorrow morning, uh, reality sort of starts to set in. How do you counsel and help people through the next few days? Well, you know, we do have mental health uh, volunteers and staff that are on site that will help people, um, you know, kind of get through the next few days and, and, and feel out what they need to do. We also um, have access and relationships with many different agencies, so we'll make sure that we hook up um, everyone with the appropriate, the appropriate agencies that can help them and try to help them further. Well, we appreciate your efforts tonight, and we know all of the families there appreciate what you're doing. Allison Koenigbauer from the American Red Cross, thanks so much for being with us. Take thank care. You. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll be right back. Stay with us. In 1939, my parents ran across an ad for a hot dog cart. My mother said, well, maybe we ought to buy this hot dog cart and set it up someplace. So my parents went to Bank of America. They met with the branch manager and they said, look, we got this little hot dog cart and it's on a really good corner. Let's see if we can buy the property. And the branch manager said, all right, I will take a chance with the two of you. I mean, we've been loyal to Bank of America for the last 71 years. Williamsport, PA, your typical shale energy town. New jobs, renewed hope. Listen, and you'll hear questions like, how are you protecting our water? You answer by encasing your wells in multiple layers of steel and cement, by monitoring and testing as you drill for oil and natural gas. You do this because you know success in a town like Williamsport means success for us all. Shale, the energy to do it right. To get 40 miles per gallon, most car makers compromise performance. But we're Mazda, and we don't compromise. The Mazda 3 with Skyactiv technology gets 40 miles per gallon highway without economy buttons or compromising how it drives. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Now get the Mazda 3 with zero due at least signing for only $253 a month.
It's all that cinnamon and sugar that makes those crunchy little squares so irresistible. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, part of this good breakfast. Praise those crazy squares. Looks like it's that time of year again. When fish lovers head for their favorite spot, Wendy's, for our premium cod filet sandwich. At Wendy's, we believe the best fish sandwiches start with pure cod from the icy cold waters of the North Pacific. Our filets cook up golden brown with a light, crispy panko breading. Nothing less than pure cod. That's Wendy's way. Welcome back to our tornado coverage, and we're joined once again by Rich Luderman. And Rich and Alan were on the air all evening long, uh, keeping us uh, up to the minute with, with what was happening. You know, what happened today reminded me of what happened on July 2nd, 1997. You have to go back that long ago to see a day like today when we had multiple tornadoes you know, on the ground at, at, in a small amount of time. Uh, it was we're just lucky that no one was injured or killed. I mean, you see the kind of damage that we have out in Dexter. It could have ended a lot differently. You know, we've seen the outbreaks in the South this year already with, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 fatalities. It could have been that way in Southeast Michigan today. That is and really remarkable. So we're lucky. I want to show you a dramatic picture. This is taken from our uh, 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 Doppler radar system showing the spiral nature of the storm. I want to show you, first of all, how big this system was today. Notice the three triangles in Michigan. Those are the three tornadoes that affected us in the southern part of the state. But there were other reports of active weather with hail and wind damage uh, as well, even down into Ohio and Indiana. But here's really the picture that says at all. We use Doppler weather radar, the velocity scope, to find out where the winds are turning. And right there, when you see these reds and greens coming together, that's where you see that tight rotation. And if you notice, that's right on top of Dexter. And this picture was taken right close to 545, and that was the time when it was going through Dexter. So the Doppler weather radar has really revolutionized the way we look at severe weather, including tornadoes. And once again today, it did a yeoman's job and uh, that technology is only getting better. Here are those three tornadoes uh, across southern Michigan. There it is in Dexter at 540. There was one down close to Ida just before six o'clock and then at the same time there was one on the ground uh, north of Lapeer there in Lapeer County. So three in a matter of an hour and a half. Officially still a severe thunderstorm watch for a few more minutes. This is going to expire and really the radar is quiet. Also, uh, Alexis mentioned that a lot of water out there, especially through Monroe County. So area creeks, rivers and streams could very well be running high for some time. Partly cloudy quiet right now. 61 degrees at the airport, 61 in Port Huron, 62 in Flint. Just a subtlety breeze uh, going to keep us mild tonight. That's the big problem with these mild, muggy air masses like we had today. They fuel the storms and that's exactly what happened this afternoon. But our weather is quiet. Fog comes late tonight. Tomorrow is a foggy day to start and then really the five-day forecast features a nice looking day on Saturday. We're going to check the full forecast obviously tonight on the edge at 11. All right, and the news doesn't end here. Fuel is next on the edge. People everywhere are dropping everything to get to the Nissan Now sales event. Get great deals now, like 500 bonus cash on popular models. Lease Altima, just $179. Visit ChooseNissan.com. Test drive at your local Nissan dealer. Bonus cash ends Monday. Do it now. The Palace is the place to be on Friday night. Showtime now. Be here March 23rd with the Pistons stick on LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and It's Motown night. The first 10,000 fans get limited edition, individually numbered Motown-themed Pistons posters. Don't miss a special halftime performance from The Temptations featuring Dennis Edwards. Best of all, get two tickets for just $25 on Friday night's out. Detroit Basketball presented by PNC Bank. Introducing M-Life, the all-new Players Club at MGM Grand Detroit. Now with even more benefits. Point play, free play, 
And now, Express Comps, the easiest way to comp yourself. M Life Express Comps lets you watch your comps grow while you play at any of our 4,100 slots. And best of all, you can save them for up to a year. Sign up today and start living the M Life. Mm, this is nice. Talk to me about the Civic. Uh, it's a 2012 IIHS top safety pick. What else? It's the best-selling small car in America. Those are big wins. Have you ever won anything? Fourth grade spelling bee. Impressive. I-M-P-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -S -S -E. I see what you did there. Now tell me about the deal. Right now we've got great leases and financing. I'll take it. Wrap this puppy up. W-R... Uh-uh. That's enough of that. Okay. Get a great deal on a Civic during the really big sales event. Real deals, big inventory. Now, at your Honda dealer.